Well, hi, everyone. We are so excited to say that today uh, we're going to be able to witness Debbie Strang, who's been journeying with our church for a while now. She has decided to make a public profession of faith through believers' baptism. Well, the reason why I'm pre-recording this is because we did check uh, things out with our Newfoundland and Labrador uh, Health Department, Department of Health and Community Services, to ask this question, if during this global pandemic times, are we, would, you know, what would be required and would we be permitted to have a believer's baptism? And they came back and said, well, with certain protocols and restrictions, we feel um, that this would be a fine thing to do. So in just a, a few moments, you're going to witness uh, this baptism. I need to have a mask on and a face shield. And Debbie will be wearing a face shield, uh, or excuse me, a mask as well when she comes into the tank. And then she's permitted to take it off as I um, immerse her under the water. So it's an exciting moment, and Debbie's, she's excited to be doing this. And I just wanted to do the teaching about believers' baptism, as I always would do, normally from the tank. But due to these restrictions, I don't think I'm going to be much comfortable in trying to communicate with a face shield on. So I thought I would do that now. So um, when someone uh, comes through the Belong Seminar, uh, one of the requirements for membership is first of all that they've put their faith and trust in Jesus that's number one but then Jesus calls us to express that faith publicly through believers baptism and so when we say we're going to follow Jesus it means we're going to do what Jesus did and Jesus himself uh, scripture records was baptized and we're also going to do what Jesus tells us to do or commands and he said to go forth and make disciples of all nations baptizing them and then teaching them and so when we do believers baptism um, we are doing what Jesus has done he's modeled the way for us and then we are doing what Jesus tells us to do but uh, and baptism is steeped pardon the pun with symbolism so you know when uh, when I put Debbie down in under the water it's a symbol of Christ's death and when she comes up again it's a symbol of his resurrection and I think that's very significant. And as well, when someone goes down under the water, it's a symbol of them dying to their old life and coming up to their new life in Christ. So it's really a, a huge uh, event that we're going to be celebrating here. And the water isn't magic. There's nothing special about the water. It's not the water um, that uh, makes us belong to Jesus. It's us putting our faith and trust in him. And just like I fell in love with my husband so many years ago, um, the marriage ceremony was just that public ceremony, that public witness to say that I declare that I love David Steves and so that is why and so this wedding band is a symbol of that love well it's the same thing with believers baptism believers baptism is simply a symbol and so we're excited to have Debbie Strang enter into the waters of believers baptism today I hope that you'll be encouraged to see that God is at work in the life of his people here at the Crossing Church Okay, hi everybody and welcome. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Uh, I've done a pre-recorded introduction to Believer's Baptism that you will have watched just a moment ago. And so now I want to welcome our baptismal candidate, Debbie Strang. So Debbie, I'm going to ask you to make your way down now. Just carefully, please. Come on in, the water's fine. Good job, and there's another step. And then there's one more step into the tank. Wonderful. Okay. And so you, you're you good. Okay. So you can just come and just stand right there. That's good. And you can face everybody. And Debbie, uh, she has attended our Belong Seminar, and she's put her faith and trust in Jesus. So she's belonging to Jesus, and now she wants to make that choice to belong to his church through professing her faith in believers' baptism. So we're so excited, Debbie, for you today. And Debbie's small group leader, Sherry Kenway, is going to come now and read from Debbie's faith story. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Debbie's story. As a child, I was baptized and confirmed in the Anglican Church. I went to church every Sunday and attended Sunday school right up to grade 11. Church and Sunday school planted the seed of my belief in God, and I felt that God was in my life. I continued to go to church until I was married. 
After that, I started missing a Sunday here and there. Before I knew it, I was only going on special occasions. I realized that God was in my life, but it was not a two-way relationship. When I prayed, I often prayed asking for things to happen or to help when life wasn't going according to plan. I always felt that God was there, and I often felt he was guiding me, but I now know that I wasn't really committed to my part of the relationship. Fast forward to a couple of years ago. I knew a few families that attended West End Baptist, and over the past couple of years, I attended services here periodically. I was warmly welcomed from the first time I entered, and I believe God has used this church family to open the door for me. I joined the Quirky Quilters and met with them whenever I could. I enjoy the fellowship and making quilts to give to others. I pray that the quilt will give the recipient as much joy as it gave me making it. Last fall, I started to attend the Crossing Church regularly. I joined Sherry and Albert Kenway's small group where I made some wonderful friends. I thoroughly enjoyed my time studying the Bible with this group in person and on Zoom. We have taken a break for the summer, however, I look forward to starting up again in September. Through Bible study, Pastor Carolyn's sermons, and individual prayer, I have learned what it really means to be a Christian, the commitment required, and have also felt the joy that it brings. I have begun a new relationship with Jesus that gives me strength and hope for the future. Not only did God give me a great family to love me and care for me, but I know he loves me forever and always, no matter what. So here we are today. I know I still have a lot more to learn, and I look forward to going deeper into my faith and sharing my gifts with the church and the community. Baptism is an important step. My baptism is both a symbol and a celebration, a symbol of my sins being washed away and a celebration of my new life with Jesus. I would like to personally thank each one of you for coming today to witness my baptism. It means so much to me. What a great faith story. What a wonderful testimony, and uh, we know the power of God and how he uses the small groups and being able to be together to wrestle with God's word. That's where real spiritual growth happens. And so I've got three questions for you. Uh, Debbie, do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins? Debbie, will you let Jesus be the Lord of your life by obeying the Bible and by following the Holy Spirit? And Debbie, will you, as you follow Jesus, will you love those who love him and those who don't yet know him? Yes. All right, Debbie, I'll get you to take your mask off. And I'll get you to come and just step over here and face the wall, please. And I'll get you to clasp your hands. So Debbie, by profession of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well done, well done. Yes, and yet there's room for more. We, we pray there'll be more pandemic baptisms. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Please pray for Debbie now as she uh, becomes the next member of our church. We're going to welcome her in formally here in just a moment. Well done. Well, here we are now. Uh, we've just gotten dried off, and we're back. And yes, I wanted to also mention that Debbie has invited some family, and she has uh, members of her small group who were able to be here today, so we're grateful to that. And of course, they're all socially distancing, so we're following rules. Well, the last part of welcoming a new member in is that uh, we have what's called a membership certificate. And I just want to read um, just some of what this membership certificate um, that Debbie's going to sign and that our board chairperson, Brad Rixman, has signed and that I have signed as a senior pastor here at the church. So the Crossing Church welcomes into membership Debbie Strang, having been led by the Holy Spirit to profess my faith in Jesus Christ and having been baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I do now solemnly and joyfully affirm my covenant with God and my church family. Therefore, I will serve the ministry of my church, I will protect the unity of my church, I will share the responsibility of my church, and I will support the life of my church. 
And so under each of those uh, headings, there are three subtitles that kind of describe what those commitments look like. And so we've gone over that during our Belong seminar, and so Debbie is aware of them. So now it's her turn to sign this certificate. I'm going to step back. And Debbie, where you sign, just so you know, is uh, where it says signed on July 11th, 2020. That's your place to sign. Okay, so I'm going to step back and let Debbie come and sign her certificate. And Debbie, when you're finished signing, you can pick that up and you can uh, just step back over again here to the right. Wonderful. Look at us. It is just like a, um, it's a dance up here on the stage. Anyway, Debbie, I want to welcome you officially to the Crossing Church family. We thank God for you, uh, for bringing you to this church family. And uh, I just want to pray for you now as uh, you take, have taken this step of faith and as you begin your journey as a new member of our church. So let's pray for Debbie. God, we just again thank you for how you're at work in Debbie's life, how you brought her to this moment. And now as a member of this church, God, I pray that you would show her her spiritual gifts, um, where she will thrive in serving in ministry here at your church as she serves others um, inside the church, but also beyond. So bless her now. We welcome her as a brand new member. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yes, so welcome on behalf of the board and on behalf of the congregation of the Crossing Church. It's official. Let's give her a hand. Wonderful. Please, again, pray for Debbie and the other two, member, two new members that we welcome this week um, as, as well. Yeah, that would be great. Jared and Kendalyn, they were in the Belong Seminar with you. All right. Blessings, everybody.